The mechanism of action of atezolizumab is a little different. It's a PDL1 inhibitor versus uh, a PD1 inhibitor, which is uh, what Opdivo, Nivolumab, and Keytruda Pimbrolizumab are. Um, and that may have uh, uh, some consequences on the toxicities, perhaps a little better tolerated in terms of the autoimmune phenomenon that we're seeing. My straight answer is I don't know if there's really any huge differences between these drugs uh, in terms of their clinical activity. Maybe some differences or nuances and differences in their toxicities, uh, and also differences in scheduling. Um, uh, the nice part about atezolizumab is that you don't need PDL1 testing to be done uh, for you to deliver it. Uh, now, PDL1 testing is probably going to be done anyway up front, but the benefit that we saw with this drug. Um, was, was there even in the subset of patients that did not have pd one expression. Because of that, I think it's a reasonable option to consider for patients that are chemo-refractory, in which you may not even have pd one testing on, or there wasn't enough tissue up front to do it. Uh, and you're considering an immunotherapeutic approach is every three weeks. Uh, the data is quite compelling. Their survival advantages were pretty robust to consider atezolizumab for these patients.